Hi guys, this is about a about a two pound common, just caught a bit of bread on a method feeder, just by the side of the island. It's quite a nice little fish. So yeah, let's go get this one back and um actually get actually get some more. Ted, how are we doing? Doing all right. Getting a few bites. Float. I'm not really using float. It's like just there. Uh, try this. <laughs> but doing all right in the uh, using method. Bread on the method. Oh, uh, with some ground beef. And um. Yeah, we're doing alright. We've only caught one, but we've definitely got bites. This is what we're eating. Some pizzas. Cold pizzas from Lidl. Quality. I haven't really got left much left of mine, but look at Ted's. Ted's got some quality pizza there. Come on. Good set up. Ted's got his beepers. I'm not I'm not using my beepers. <laughs> Kidding, I don't have beepers. That's what we're using. Pop ups. Pop ups. And, um, oh yeah. Pop ups and bread. Mm. Nice scenery there. It's a chilling born trout farm if you want to come. Yeah. Please come. We, um, they need business. Well, they like business, they don't need it. Right? Okay, so this is how you will bait up a metal feeder. Sometimes when you get a method feeder, it comes with a little thing like this. When you scoop it up like that, get some ground bait in. You put it in like that. You, just keep, you push down hard like that. And you pull the thing out and it comes out like that. Or, like you might see some people on YouTube do it. I'm not used to doing it this way, so I don't know if I'll be great at it. You get it like a pack like that, grab the method feeder, and you smack it on like that. And you keep on doing it until you want it like that. Either way you can do it. And then after, I guess you're ready to cast. And this rig is a simple method feeder coming off into a hair rig. Wait. Oh, going. Someone else has got, got a fish there. So if you come up close. We've got a simple method feeder. About a couple centimetres into a hair rig. See, there. That is the rig we're using for today. And I'm using a ledger. Oh, some of the alarm keeps on going off. <laughs> I think Bloody they've hell. got a fish, mate. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, a fish. Not a bad cast, though. Sit it down. Lovely. Baiting up the air out. Down again. Got my was repositioned. Bait up your area. No, I'm good. Alright, right, we're now going to make a move to somewhere right over there. So, yeah, let's go. Alright, guys. So, what's happened here? I've hooked onto a 20 plus pounder over there. It's right over there. Fat fish. I had it for like a second and it took my line, it snapped my line. But it snapped it by um, the right by the method feeder. So now Ted is being uh, a lad and putting on <laughs> putting on a leisure for me. Cheers Ted. But um, it was a fat fish so I'm going to try and go there again. But I'm not sure. Hopefully I'll get a smaller one. I don't really want a 20 pounder snapping this again. Okay, so I've got like a three pound carp here. It's wriggling, it keeps wriggling around in that, so I'm trying to keep it there. Um, just on a leisure. We was just on a leisure and just using bread and a ground bait. And it was my second cast, the first cast. Got broken got, off. Yeah, got the um, 
the method got taken off, so there's definitely fish where we're fishing, which is just lovely over looking there. carp. Um, it's, it's a decent carp, but we need to get it back in because otherwise it's going to wriggle. Alright, see you in a bit, guys. Well, it's been a really quiet day. Got our munchies, got a munch, got the lunch, the munch, the lunch. Um, not been busy, only caught two between this. I'm currently cast out there. Ted's over there. Ted keeps firing the pop ups. So, we've really been having bites. We haven't actually had any, well, goes really. We've been on a couple of times. Ted was on a um, was on a bit ago, and he uh, just well lost it, so it's kind of annoying. I'm currently doing this with my rods because I find it easier to see the line in the water. Say bye. All right, so basically we've moved again. <laughs> we seem to be keep doing this. Um, I'm just here. Mm, pretty nice place. I saw some movement around here, so I thought maybe I should just like try it. Ted is over there. We were there yesterday, and it was a very good spot. We caught, I mean, I caught three there, um, and Teddy caught well loads, loads of but like perch. Um, we keep Ted's going for carp now, though. Um, I think. It's going to be pretty successful because I've caught loads of uh, carp over there and Ted caught, well I don't think Ted caught any over there yesterday but he was in the wrong spot. The only problem is I think he doesn't want to cross lines so he's being pretty cautious over there. But yeah, overall I think we've moved and I think we're in good spots. Um, yeah. Right now I've just decided to go for the one line two line at the moment, I can't really be bothered, just not lying. The float hasn't seen much action anyway. Um, and I'm getting bites. Okay guys, so basically, um, these little fuckers. We have been fishing, for, I've been fishing here for like 10 minutes. I'm currently going to bait up again. Well, my, my um, leisure, my ground bait, because, um, they keep getting on and I'll strike and they'll be on for a couple of seconds and then they'll come off so they're quite tricky but hopefully I should be able to get it soon Ted how are you doing? not too bad, bites bites? no beeps mm. alright so I might try over there and get it in that little gap over there yeah that's where Ted kept getting the like small fish and that but yeah, I'm just coming to lay up. So, for the leisure, for, we've only done the thing today. Mm -hmm. We've only really done the method, method today. Well, let's see what we're so this is how you do a leisure. You should get it in here, put it in, and when you're, you get all the stuff, you put it to the sides, and start pushing it in and it should just compact itself and fill up so you should re really have like a tub of ground bait and then get the leisure just put the whole line in pull it out and it's done also I've got my bait um, I like to put my bait put some ground bait on my bait because it gives a good scent we've also something else that's got a good scent we've got these these pop-ups pop -ups. and in this tub of pop-ups we yeah, there was a spray I, I put it oh. somewhere well we've lost the spray but i've got the spray but there's a spray you spray on it and it makes it a bit better but these pop-ups they do work well this is a good scent the fish like it so i like to put it on my bread and that's just how i do a leisure all right so this is a just caught a carp uh literally just after feeding uh baiting up put my rod in five seconds and it went slack and then it just suddenly went um, this is a nice carp, probably about four or five pounds. Really pleased with this. A common, so look, it's got quite, quite nice scales, and I'm pretty pleased with that. Let's go get him back then. 
Teddy is putting the fish back. And off yeah. it, goes. it goes. See you later, fishy. Teddy's actually just gone and nicked my rod. Nicked my float rod. I'm kidding, I wasn't using it. I said I could, he could. But um, Ted's using four my four float rod. <laughs> it's going to take me about four seconds for me to catch a perch on this castle. Yeah, just over there. Okay, Joe's hooked on. Um, third car for the day. It's decent. It, it went quickly. A couple of seconds after I passed it out, and it's gone. Um, they I'm get trying to tire it out now. Don't get how he keeps on catching the fucking car. I'm in the right spot, mate. I'm just trying to tire it out now so that it um, is easy to handle when we bring well, it in. If my beef is gone, yeah? Fuck you. I'm running. <laughs> Um, I've got the right spot and I'm doing the right things and it just seems to be going my way right now. Um, just let it tire itself out. This is so that when it comes in it's easy to handle, you can easily put it back in, it doesn't flap off your mat. It's just going to swim around until slowly it's easy to handle and now I can bring it in. Now, nope, just gonna swim around a bit more. Nope, just fucking hitting the head. How far are you casting, Joe? Just there, literally, just like five mm. meters away. Not casting far, they just seem to be there. It's a flapper, so maybe it won't be easy to handle. I can't do this with a fucking. Put the phone down. Okay. Alright, got a decent sized carp here. Probably like four, three, three, four pound. Round that. Um, it's a nice, it's a bit of a flapper. We sort of, it's a way to stop it flapping is just be firm with it. Don't hurt it, but just be firm, hold it down. Um, and yeah, let's put it back in the water, I guess. Oh. Alright guys, so I'm back in today's magic spot and I'm already getting bites. Just casted. Already getting bites, hopefully it'll just go. See, bites, bites, bites. Tess is on. A uh, decent one, and yeah, just gonna bring it in now. Um, just caught this about three or four, three or four pound carp, just in the um, little back of the corner, just down there. Good little fish. Always a load of family packs here. Lovely, perfect scale. Common. Nice scale. Perfect. It's got your dorsal fin the up. Thing as well. Lovely little carp, and um, hopefully we've got some more coming. Yeah. All right. It's releasing them. Let's go. Ted's gonna release it by hand. Because he's a beast. Uh, ready? Three, two. There we go. Off it goes. Teddy's on again. Um, about four minutes, about five minutes later. Yeah, just literally like a couple of minutes later. We're not sure how big it is. It's not really fighting. But we don't think that means it's small. That, that run wasn't. The run was not small. Oh, the go. alarm was like. Burr, burr, burr. This is not like drag at all. No, look at the bend in the rod as well. So we think that this is a decent to big. Could be the biggest one of the day. Yeah, could be the biggest one of the day. We haven't had big, big yes. ones today. Oh god. Oh my, that's fine, I've got it. God, Ted's got it under control. I think it's a mirror. Oh, this a mirror. Be, It'll be the first be mirror of the today. day. Try and bring it to the surface, see if we can see it. It's a nice one for sure. It looked, yeah, I'm not sure though. Very, look at the bend. The bend is quite big, so I, we think this is a, could be the biggest one of the day. I'm probably going to stop filming now. Here you go guys, it's a lovely, lovely common. About five to six pound, biggest one of the day, definitely. Um, nice, nice not scales perfect. on it. Uh, some scales come off him, as you can see the lighter colours. Yeah. Um, nice. Got some yeah, nice yeah. colours, nice commons there. And um, got his dorsal fin up again. Pretty chuffed with that. Loving that. Same place, same place. Exactly. Couldn't yeah. be any closer. So it's going to release it. Lovely common. Ready? <laughs> Hi guys, I'm back again. Um, had some quite a couple bites on my uh, rod. Still in the same spot. Um, just recasted. 
made a big old uh, thingy ball. It's quite cool to be honest. Chucking, chucking these um, big balls of um, ground bait in is working quite well. Just making them go off and that. It's like making them all like just everything around there now. And then just wait until something just shoots off with that. Got my Dr. Pepper. Joe's over there moving. Let's go say hi to Joe. Cookies. I've had my cookie. So, how you been? Pretty terrible to be honest. I went, had the magic spot, you know, as everyone knows, and uh, we just died. No one was taken, it was all bite, bite and so I moved mm. here. Got his rod, got fucking everything here. Hi guys, um, just giving you a little quick info. Um, got a couple bites on my rod in the same place. Uh, just recasted, made some of these bread, uh, these um, ground bait balls actually, and I'm chucking them out over there where I'm casting. It's just about over there, and um, they're working pretty well because there's so much ground bait in it that they just, it's like all just goes like that and it just crunches up and expands everywhere. It's really amazing. But um, yeah, so hit made a couple of these, um, same, in the same spot really. Joe's over there. Trying to catch something, and um, yeah, it's just been a very fun day to be honest. I mean, I think I'm gonna chuck this one out. So, honestly, this is what I do get this just over there, my baiting what is bang right there, and it hits the bottom, and it just splash. This is amazing. Now, we're just waiting for my old rod to go beep. So, yeah. In a bit, guys. Alright, so Ted's got a fish, and basically we're trying to get it in, but it's a fat fish. Ted's got the strongest <laughs> rod, and it was a huge bend. It's just short! My rod just short! Shit, I want to see if I can put this somewhere. <laughs> ah! E! This is big! Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh! I just saw it! This is like eight or nine pounds. Bending this rod. All right, there you go. Right, I don't even think we should try and tie this out. Just try and get it up to the surface and we should get it. When, if, if we try and tie it out, it will snap. Imagine it's the same one, bro. <laughs> Try and bring it up to the surface. Oh, that sound. I love that sound. I'm sorry. We've caught a big one here. Well, we think. We haven't really caught it yet, but it's on. God, oh my god, oh my god, this is big. This has to be 10 or something. Right, try and bring it to the surface. Shit, this is gonna be hard. It's battling. Oh! oh! Actually, shall I go in? As if it, uh, I don't know. Yeah, Joe's in the fucking branches. Dude, no, 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 it's in the branches. I can't, I can't get it, I can't get it. Try and bring it. Oh, Joe, bro, you're gonna have to go in. Fam, fam, fam. Joe's is it out. Huh? Is it out? No, 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 I don't. It's still in there, Joe. Yes. Do you think it's next? Tired, but we're not even trying to tire it out, we're trying to get it in. Fucking hell! Oh my god! Ted, Ted! Oh. Brother. Brother, brother. Right, that, hell. Right, bring it, bring it, bring it. It's gonna get tired. 
Look, look at this, at this beast. beast. It's an absolute beast of a car. Beast. It's, it's a common, a common, and it's just nine ten. We were disappointed about the ghost, and this just came out of this nowhere. This just trucked it, honestly. Um, Lovely, cold and oh. colours. It's amazing. It's very flappy. <laughs> very Holy. flappy, very flappy. I want to feel that. Oh, bruv, that is Perfect. The best. Perfect, perfect day, way to end the day, bruv. And a perfect, perfect way scaly to end the day. Carp. Right, this oh, is... chuffed. Let's get this release. Come on, Joe. Releasing this beast. Look. See this? We will see you, ready? you later, bro. Lovely. Oh, Lovely. we are properly chuffed with that. Not gone? I did touch it, actually. Okay. <laughs> <I fell. laughs> All right, we'll see you guys later. End of the fishing trip. Properly see you chuffed. guys. See you guys in the next video. See you in the next one.